I started writing this song um, right after 9-11 in September of 2001 and um, worked on it through the years and just finished it a couple of days ago. Through the years I've changed the key, the progression, the feel of the song, but it was always about three little-known American heroes, all named William. The first is a little-known American hero named William Dawes Jr. He rode with Paul Revere. The second is a lesser-known American hero named William G. Crawley, who was from Sail Creek, Tennessee, just outside Chattanooga, and he was at D-Day. The third is Captain William F. Burke, Jr., and he ran down Liberty Street in Lower Manhattan on 9-11. And the name of the song is A Street Called Liberty. There rode William, running neck and neck with Paul Revere. And the Redcoats would have killed him just to make their freedom lanterns disappear. They were running free down the road to Trenton. Just begun to see the way to destiny down the street called Liberty. And there was William, a farm boy volunteer. From Tennessee, and he knew they'd try to kill him when his boots hit the sand at Normandy. June of '44, on that beach in Normandy, called Omaha. Yeah. His country's destiny on a beach he saw liberty. If there is one truth that we have learned by every bridge and manner burn, it's the price of liberty. Freedom is never free. It ain't free. It ain't free. And William left the station the 11th of September, 10 till 9. And now throughout the nation, Billy's picture shows up from time to time. Through the heavy smoke, the ones he saved still recall his face as he took their place to keep them free. And he ran with destiny down a street Running neck and neck with Paul Revere.